Hi everybody! So today I'm here to talk to you about a very personal thing to me and something I feel like not many people have talked about but something that a lot of people should be talking about and that is the ups and downs to bisexuality. Um, if you didn't know this already, I am an open bisexual and these are just some things that I've encountered a lot over the past few years telling people that I'm bisexual and just my experiences in general and stories I've heard from other people. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I have a list of pros and cons. And let me know if you can relate to this, if you've ever heard about this before. Alright, so, pro number one. You can love anybody. With bisexuality, there's very few limits. It's not as limitless as pansexuality, but you can be attracted to men and women. You can love a man or a woman, and gender doesn't really make a difference to you. You are open to love the world's population, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Con number one, people will assume that you cheat. People will tell you that if you like men and women, you can never be faithful to only one. And that is the biggest load of horse shit that I've ever heard. Being attracted to a woman will not make me cheat on my boyfriend, and vice versa. I don't see how this idea comes into play, because a straight guy with a girl, like, just because he's still attracted to other girls doesn't mean he's going to cheat on her. I don't see why having a different gender involved makes any difference at all in that. And it's just, it's wrong, it's stupid, it's... Just don't, please don't ever say that to a bisexual person, because it's offensive and it's stupid and it's... Moving on. Pro number two. Unlike with gay men and women, or straight men and gay men, if someone's flirting with you, it's much, much less awkward. You don't have to tell a person, sorry, I'm, I'm gay, or oh, sorry, I'm straight, I'm not interested. I mean, while you may not still be interested, but you don't have that awkward sexual orientation split. It makes things a lot easier. So, you know, that's, that's always a good thing. And I have encountered that situation personally multiple times. So, yeah. Con number two, you will hear people say, it's just a phase, you'll pick a side. No. no. I have experienced both sides of this, and I know full well that I enjoy both sides. So while you may think that there is no such thing as bisexuality, I am fully aware that there is. End of story. Keep your comments to yourself, because I know what I am and what I like, and I don't think that you could know that better than me. Thank you, though. Have a nice day. Pro number three. I have personally found that being bisexual, I can relate to a wider variety of people. I can talk to other straight guys about women, I can talk to gay men about other men, I can talk to girls about men, I can talk to really anybody about anyone, and I can relate to them, and I can share stories with them, and I can understand the situation. They don't date women, so it's very hard for a lot of gay men to understand what that's like. I may be completely wrong here because I'm not a gay man, but I just feel like that's something that may come up. I don't know what it's like to be in a lesbian relationship because I've never been in one and I never will. That's just the way I see that, and I could be totally wrong, but I, that's personally how I feel. Con number three. Stop being so greedy. You can't have both. I don't want both. Um, I may be attracted to both, but one or the other is more than fine for me. In a relationship, if whether it be with a girl or with a guy, I'm currently with a guy, that's all I need. I don't need both. End of story. You can like two different cars and only drive one. I don't think a lot of people can wrap their minds around that. The bisexuals, while they may be attracted to both men and women, they do not need to be in a relationship with both, or be sexually active with both. And if I am in a relationship with somebody, I don't need the attention of the opposite gender. Pro number four. I personally found that it was much easier to tell my parents that I was bisexual than it would have been to tell them that I was gay. And while I may not give them grandbabies, I think the idea that you are still halfway attracted to women can make telling people a lot less traumatic. Um, coming out as gay I know can be a very, very difficult thing to do, and it's a hard thing for a lot of people to accept. 
and meanwhile with bisexuality, while it is a surprise and it is something that people have to adjust to, I don't think that it's as difficult. You are still partially straight in a sense, and I find that a lot of parents have an easier time grasping that and really coming to terms with that. So my heart goes out to everybody who has to come out as gay or transgendered or anything in the LGBT, I, I don't know the whole list, um, bisexuality is probably one of the easier things to live with, and I love being bisexual. And con number four, people will tell you that there's no such thing as bisexuality. They will tell you that you're either gay and you're coming halfway out, or that you're only saying you're bisexual for attention, and I can promise you, it's neither. Um, a lot of people I have found do come out as bisexual before coming out as gay, but I think like that's less to do with hiding it and more to do with confusion and not really understanding your sexuality. So please, if someone tells you that they are bisexual, do not tell them that they're actually gay and just haven't come out yet, and do not tell them that they are just confused or looking for attention, because that's a giant slap in the face. And when people tell me that, I just, it's incredibly frustrating. So please don't do it. Um, Alright guys, so that's my list of pros and cons of being bisexual. I'm sure there's a million more, and if you have any other pros or cons, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. Uh, that's really all I have to say about the video today, so if you liked it, hit the thumb up, comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, and that's all I gotta say today. So, I love you guys, and see you later. Bye!